There's this way of seeing Latinos that we're used to. And so if you're making a project that kind of tries to challenge that stereotype and maybe bring a new story to the forefront that's different from like the traditional story that we're used to seeing, it's a little bit difficult to convince the traditional funders out there to, you know, that, that they should take a chance. Being Latin American in the United States is a very complicated kind of idea. And I, I think that in the United States, Latinos represent so many different kinds of ethnicities, nationalities. It's, for me, it's always been very hard to define what it means to be Latin American. What I see in Latin American filmmaking is just this, really this energy to experiment, this energy to, to go back to certain traditions of Latin American literature, like magical realism, which is what I am interested in personally. When I knew that the Tribeca Film Institute started having these awards, I thought it was particularly important that they had an award that was catered to Latin American filmmakers or Latino filmmakers. The inaugural grant of the TFI Heineken Award was instrumental in finishing this film in the way that I wanted to finish it. Nobody's Watching is about understanding who we are in the context of other people. It's a journey of self-discovery. It's a journey of acceptance, trying to find your own core and be loyal to it. The support of Trebeca has been amazing, you know, we, had, uh, we have had notes from the film. I really like it and I appreciate it because I feel it's a very, very generous process. Having the kind of mentorship that I received at, at TFI was really important to kind of navigate this really complex process of how you make a film, not just after you shoot it, but what happens, you know, after even post-production. I think it's a very exciting time for Latin American cinema. To the new Vosis Award recipients, my biggest kind of advice would be just to take it all in and, uh, and just really um, talk to everybody that you meet, uh, make connections, network. My words of advice would be, you know, just try to translate that inner vision to the larger public where you stay true to your roots.